Hi Virgo, this is your reading for dun, 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 March 2020. This is more of a general reading, so we're going to have a look, see what's coming through, and um, it could really point us into any direction, which I think is the very fun part about this particular reading. Also, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention is my intention bracelets are on Etsy, so if anyone is interested in purchasing these, link to my Etsy shop will be in the description box below. They are handmade, they're meditated with, they're sage, they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. In my opinion they are very special because I make them and they have a lot of spiritual energy to it which is very positive and if you want to see reviews and see how other people have seen results with these items and what they think please do check out the Etsy shop reviews as well so that will be on the Etsy store. I also have a Patreon as well if anyone would like to join our little family on there and uh, there's exclusive content and videos on there that I don't post on this channel which you know is quite exciting so thank you so much to all my absolutely incredible Patreons it's just absolutely wonderful. Alright so I'm really excited about this. Virgo okay okay Okay, hello, Virgo. Whoa! Okay, um, we also have this card here which just flipped over. Cards have come out so fast, so quickly. Um, you know, it, it's just, I feel, an energy in March where, you, where things are just going to be happening, you know, slow, it's like the calm before the storm, that's what I'm seeing, is that things may feel a bit slow and then all of a sudden things just erupt out of nowhere in March. So that's an energy that I'm definitely feeling and it definitely goes with a the theme of what we see in March, which is, you know, Mercury goes direct on the 10th of March, so you know we don't have a Mercury retrograde up until the 10th of March and then after that we also have a season change, so the seasons are changing in March. We also have Aries season starting as well with all this fiery energy that we're picking up on. Let me just, let's, let's fish out all this fiery energy, right? So when Aries season starts towards the end of March, there's a lot of progress. It will feel like everything's been really calm, everything has been really serene, and then boom, Look at that! That literally showcases the energy. So three, of course, representing the third month of the year, which is March. And then this is showing a very calm energy. And then as soon as Aries season hits, we've got so much progression here. So much progression. It's a theme that I've been seeing in a lot of my own personal readings that I've been doing uh, on the channel. It's, it's really what we got. I mean... Don't know, don't know what else to say. Look at that, two of wands as well. Two to the three, really showing again lots and lots of growth. So this growth can be actually in regards to many things. This can be personal growth where you feel like, oh, things are just really stagnant in my life. Things are just a bit too quiet in my life. And then, you know, come airy season, not only do you feel like you have grown and become stronger, but you're attracting all of this abundance into your life. This can be to do with romance and love. It can also be to do with career opportunities as well. Lots of interactions I'm seeing, you being quite busy, having your plate genuinely quite full. So again, multiple areas of your life being super busy. That's what I'm seeing, especially with the six of wands. You're going to feel somewhat victorious and somewhat like, wow, you know, I was things were pretty calm before and now they've picked up especially with the page of wands it's about things picking up and even with the ace of wands it's about you know a lot going on and a lot happening all at once okay so let's just place these other cards this is that serene energy with the hangman and the queen of cups we've also got the two of pentacles which actually i'm gonna put on the same Row, Knight of Cups. <coughs> oh 
my gosh. <sighs> Can't remember the last time I sneezed in a video. But uh, maybe it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Let me just grab a tissue as well. Just to, like keep on the side. So we've got this Knight of Cups here. We've also got right the Page of Cups. Ace of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. And there's something money related here. So you may feel quite good in terms of money, okay? Three of Pentacles, again, career driven as well. And we've got the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Pretty, pretty strong set of cards here. Right, so what I'm really seeing here is the King of Wands here shows some kind of really strong interaction with somebody romantically, which really does grow. Okay, so it's going to grow at the end of March is what I'm seeing. There's going to be a really strong interaction. There's going to be something that's said, which makes you feel in turn quite victorious and makes you feel like, okay, you know what, things are progressing here, things are moving, and you're going to feel really good about it. So that's what this two to the three of wands is also showcasing is that, you know, it may feel like some of you have waited a while for this to happen and finally it happens. The hangman is also about spiritual growth. Remember I said that there's some form of growth happening within you as well on a very personal level. So that's what this is showing. For some of you, you may open up the doors to spirituality, learn more about your spiritual self, your intuition, how you feel within yourself and also how you feel around other people. We've got the Queen of Cups here, which really shows a very, very strong energy relating to your own self-esteem, confidence and actually feeling quite vulnerable perhaps at the beginning of March and then actually it becoming much more balanced and then you having so much more to deal with so then that emotional sort of energy gets pushed back it's good to be vulnerable of course um but there's you know it's almost like you're dipping your feet in that water and you're feeling all of that water and maybe getting consumed by that emotional energy whilst here you have other distractions and other things to do so therefore that emotion sort of just sets into the background and you're focusing on all these other things on your very busy plate as I mentioned and then the Knight of Cups here shows opportunities and I feel like there's some career opportunities that I'm really picking up on okay whether you are unemployed whether you have a career or whether you work for yourself you know there's so many there's so many things that come through when it comes to career because obviously you know people do very different things but it's really showing showcasing an opportunity that is manifesting so from the page to the knight of cups it shows that progression so again it could be a promotion um it could be a chance to earn more money so the three of pentacles here is also showcasing a little bit more right you could be watched and you have to do something um some form of collaboration we've got the ace of cups here which really showcases again that march is bringing you lots of abundance a lot of it all at once we've got the wheel of fortune which shows abundance as well so there's this beautiful energy of jupiter really giving a lot you know jupiter is there jupiter is about wealth and it is about success and we've got here the knight and the king of swords so again you've got the page and the um, Knight of Cups here and then you've got the Knight and the King of Swords here so again you've got a real sense of progression and then you've got the Page and the King of Wands there having this level of progression just goes to show you even in terms of communication you're going to feel quite strong towards the end of March and I'm not surprised again because Mercury goes direct on the 10th of March we do have a bit of a shadow period but then towards the end of March come April you know your communication skills are on point Virgo yes we like that you know you're not going to feel so perhaps um, worried, you know, to communicate certain things, you're going to be quite open with it. And again, you know, with Mercury being the ruler of communication, once it goes direct, and it's not in retrograde anymore, it does also make things a little bit easier in regard to how you communicate with not only yourself, but others as well. So this is your reading. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And definitely do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway and my bracelets which are on Etsy. If you're interested, Patreon, all that good stuff, it's all down below. And I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And do take care. Hope to see you soon if you choose to click on another one of my videos. And that's what I got for you. Bye!